power. And your track reader has done that for you. And it comes from silence. There's nothing happening before this. Uh, for the people that think it's correct to do it right on the money, it's a mistake to have that P as a closed mouth and that one as an open mouth. Because when a track reader is reading this sound, an explosive sound, what he does is very often, you have to, usually have to check with your track reader somehow he works. But very often, if it's an explosive sound which comes from silence, like power, I can't say the word power until my lips part. So when the track reader first hears that sound there, he puts the P and on the very next frame he puts the O. Now the actual sound of that P, the actual sound that he's hearing, is the lips parting right there. So on the explosive sounds, you often find on explosive sounds, track reader will, will put one letter and then on the very next frame he'll put the next letter. So you should actually pop your mouth open on that word right there. It should be a closed mouth leading up to it. That's an explosive sound. If the word was mouse, where you can hear, I can say mouse. I don't have to be silent before it. So the track reader can actually tell the difference between the m mm and the o. Oh. Then you're more likely to be able to get away with having you know, the track reader has put M up here and then that's okay, so you've got your M and then your O. You can do that right on the money and it would be fine because the track reader can actually tell when that sound is coming. It's not coming from dead silence. Um, another thing that sort of gives validity to the theory of putting everything before the sound is that you need to do uh, preparation and recall It's no good coming from a closed mouth straight into a word like get out. Um, your mouth prepares the G sound, a good you know, four or six frames before you actually hear or obviously see any sound on the X sheet. If you have the words, you know, there's a good example of this in Terminator 2. The only words that the, the liquid guy says as a computer generated character get out. So it looks kind of weird um, because he goes, they scanned all the actors' mouth shapes were, you know, they were very careful about the mouth shapes that they chose. Uh, what they didn't do was prepare for it and, and recoil from it. So if you watch the film, it's sort of goes net out like that. He swallows the beginning of the sound because he starts with a closed mouth and goes straight into get out. It's quite an interesting phrase for, for dialogue. It has a lot of weird stuff in it. You need to prepare this G sound. If you've got a closed mouth expression, you want to say get out. You've got to open up the mouth. There'll, there'll often be an inhale to help you do that anyway. But you're going to need to open his mouth you know, about here two or three frames before, at the very least, to get that, to start forming that get, get out, G mouth shape. Um, similarly, at the end of this word, phrase, out, even though there's no sound written on the X sheet, you can't just close the character's mouth when there's silence directly out there. It's get out, and then we'll so you can't really close the mouth if you want to. You really have to take it at all. But if 
the scene requires it. Uh, you should, shouldn't do it for like a couple of frames after uh, that cue is over. So this is what you see on your X sheet. What's actually happening with the mouth to get these sounds? The G is J is the tongue separating from the roof of the mouth, right there. So you've got your G mouth shape. You've got your you can open his his mouth like here on this page. J you say that sound comes when the tongue separates from the roof of the mouth. Get. Similarly, T is, is also the tongue coming off the, the roof of the mouth. So, on a T, you might have the tongue up at the top of the mouth here, and then it comes off the roof of the mouth there. Like and the same on this one, too. You've got out, like that. That T is you. It's not, so you wouldn't have big mouth going to an O, and then just T, like that. Um, this is the tongue separating from the mouth. So you're going to want to see the tongue at the top of the, the mouth in the frame before, and then come down there. This is sort of a realistic lip sync, I suppose you would call it. This is what actually 